tell us a bit about the boat. OK, uh, cutting a quite long story short, this uh, boat is based on a, a prototype that I launched in 2008 and uh, basically done five years of sailing in. And what I'd hoped to achieve with that prototype was to create the performance beach boat for the 21st century. Um, I've been very lucky in so much as it's fallen under the uh, eyes of Devossi, which is a quality builder with a great reputation and great products. And together we've basically taken all of that experience in the last five years and a very progressive design and uh, rolled it into a, an attractive, capable um, and uh, very attractively priced product, we like to think. And tell me a bit more about when you say um, progressively designed. Yeah. OK, well, I think that with the, certainly with the prototype, I started off and did some very well, perhaps ambitious, probably a bit silly things with it just to make sure that I was leaving no stone unturned in a kind of creative fashion. Just, um, I, 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 I did it as a personal project, so I didn't have to worry about it being on somebody else's account. So I was able to take more risks and, and, and just be a bit braver with things than otherwise I would do and people would typically in, in the industry would be. So that gave me a great amount of creative freedom to try out a load of things that would be exciting and interesting. And certainly on the first boat, well, it looked quite, um, it looked kind of unique, a bit radical perhaps even, but it's a totally accessible boat to sail. And I, I had to say that 80, 90% of the time, it was an absolute joy to sail. The rest of the 10% of the time, it was okay. So the intent with this certainly is maybe, you know, tone it down a little bit. I know I've, I've, I've gone through, you know, various iterations of various parts and, and done a fair bit of development on, on almost everything, frankly. And now we're in a position where we've got a, a boat that basically takes all the, all the great points, the look, the, the sailing qualities. There's a real grown-up, mature product that still is well differentiated from the rest of the market. Uh, it's a massively versatile boat, it's a very capable boat, it's accessible to any, anyone who can basically sail competently. Um, so we you know, had a huge amount of interest in it and we're really looking forward to uh, you know, getting some legs and, and, and you know, getting some boats out there. So a progressive boat, yep. one that's enjoyable to sail. Yep. What other kind of experience are people going to have when they go out on this boat? Uh, I think one of the things that, I mean, I know I'm, not, I'm slightly biased here, but certainly with the prototype and so much so with this as well, I enjoy taking the cover off and looking at it, which uh, you know is a, it's a luxury product, a racing dinghy at the end of the wet, end of the day. So um, that's that's a, a great thing to do. And basically, compared to a lot of the other dinghies out there, it just feels so much more alive to sail. Um, hopefully, we'll get a bit of traction. We've had great amounts of interest at this show, um, and we'll be piggybacking some racing circuits onto the back of the Devotee D1 circuit, and hopefully building upon that. So we we'll have great circuits, um, you know, great people great parties great fun and was it important for you to be launching it here at the dinghy show absolutely yes i mean uh, i've been coming to the dinghy show for many years now uh, i'm as an enthusiast like most of the people you see here are passionate about their dinghy sailing want to see what's new and i think uh, the state of the market at the moment is that uh, there's never been a better time to release a product like this so it's uh, interesting obviously there's, there's another competitor product launching at the same time uh, but it just goes to show that uh, great minds must think alike in so much as you know if two two players uh, think there's appetite at the same time then it must mean that you know there, there is possibility for significant traction there so it's going to be an exciting time going forward brilliant thanks ever so much for your all right, time no problem Dan, at all. thanks for that good luck uh, with the new boat thank you very much